We're going to go over to another ideal customer uh, in Georgia. Fairmount, Georgia is about two hours north of Atlanta. Uh, Brangus operation up there that you heard me talk about just a little while back. They got rid of a bunch of their mature cows, uh, kind of refreshed the herd. Uh, Salicoa Valley Farms, uh, their general manager is Chris Heptonstall. Uh, the guy that owns that operation is a man by the name of David Vaughn. Uh, great individual there. Really excited about all the new stuff that they have coming along. They've got a bull sale coming up. Uh, they're switching how they do their bull sale. It's going to be on a Friday night now. Uh, Chris will talk a little bit about that, as well as the herd bulls that they have and how they maintain those and grow the bulls that they have going into their production sale. See if we can get Chris on the phone here. It's Chris. Hey, Chris, it's Wade. Hey, Wade, how are you? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well. You got a second to talk? Yes, sir. Well, first off, let's talk about your herd bulls that you maintain out there. Um, what body condition score, or how do you normally keep them and, and let them get get a little fatter as well as when they're in their true working clothes? Well, when it turned out, of course, we're going to drop some body condition out there. And we, uh, at Saco Valley, we do use these bulls twice a year for spring and fall breeding. So when they're up and out of cows, we do try to feed them bulls at about a percent of body weight to uh, try to get them back in a better body condition score, you know, right. getting up there six, seven, something like that to uh, get them the best opportunity to get back out there and start scale. Right, right. I mean, everybody knows you don't want a fat bull out there breeding cows. If he's fat, it means he's paying too much attention to, to eating than he is to, to actually getting anything covered. That's right. You know, days like today, we've got 110 heat index over here in the coastal region of the deep south, and it's, uh, you know, bulls can melt away right now, and right. Uh, you just want to get them, get them in a little bit better condition so they can go out and do their job. It's good. What about, I, mean, I know you've got a bull sale each year. What about those bulls that you get ready for that bull sale, you know, depending on their age, what kind of body condition score do you like to see them in when they go through the ring? Well, those bulls, you know, from... Went into Yerlin when we get skinned out and everything done, uh, kind of push those bulls a little bit to uh, maybe have a little bit better body condition so we can get some more accurate readings right. on what their APDs will allow them to do. And I think that you got to push those bulls a little bit harder to get them there. And, you know, once once we get them to Yerlin and get them skinned, then we'll usually try to back them off and let them coast uh, to October. Awesome. And uh, let everybody know how to get a hold of you and as, as far as your bull sale that is in October, the date, and how they can get some more information on that, Chris. Oh, you bet. Uh, we change the date this year. We're going to go on Friday this year, uh, October 21st. Um, we're going to actually, we're going to sell all the S model cows, all the five-year-old five year cows are going to sell along with, uh, with the bulls right. on Friday. We'll about 100 of those five-year-old females, and then about 100 uh, come coming to your old bulls. And, uh, of course, you can look at the, at the Internet on our website, um, www.svfbulls.com. And, of course, my cell phone is 205-363-0919. If anybody's got any questions, you can call me anytime. We'll do, and that information is also on the screen for those of you all that are watching the video. Chris, buddy, we really appreciate you being on the show and talking with us this week and look forward to having you on here in person in a, in a couple of months. All right, buddy. We'll look forward to seeing you here for a while. All right, Chris. Take care. We'll talk at you later. The next person we're going to touch base with is from an Angus operation in northwest Texas. Um, they raise cattle in a rugged part of the, of the state as well as a rugged part of the United States. Uh, they raise a lot of good Angus bulls each year for a sale that they have in February, and he'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, they're going to talk to us about their herd bulls as well as their sale bulls that they have. And that's James Henderson of Bradley 3 Ranch. We'll see if we can get James on the phone real quick. Yes, James. Hey, James, this is Wade Fisher. How are you? Good. Hey, I've got you on the video blog this week and wanted to see if you'd touch base with us. One of our viewers has uh, sent in a question asking about the proper body condition for bulls. Uh, we were going to expand that to being both herd bulls that are out on cows as well as bulls in some sales and wanted to see if you if you would enlighten us on how y'all maintain bulls there at Bradley 3. Okay, I'll make that a good question. 
and I think it has multiple answers, uh, depending on a lot of circumstances. We uh, herd bulls that are three years of age and older. Um, we tend to leave to fend for themselves. Those bulls will keep pretty much year-round uh, in working clothes and so forth. They'll maintain a body condition, five, score. We may try to uh, make sure that within 60 days of turnout that they're up close to body score six. And that's primarily because semen production is 60 days out front. So um, making sure they're in the right body condition score 60 days before turnout is, is really important in that overall semen production. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's younger than a three-year-old bull, they're going to typically need some help because they're still growing, they're shedding teeth, there's just a lot of things going on. And and so we try to make sure that up until they're three, we, we really watch. And, and sometimes they may need some, some supplemental feed. Right. Right, I understand. That's that's a great thought on there is the, the 60 days out front. Um, as far as the bulls that you're raising to, to go to y'all sale every year, you know, are you going to push those just a little bit harder because they're younger, or how do you maintain those bulls? Well, we do, and it's a it's a catch twenty two. Everybody wants a range ready bull, but they also want something that's been game tested and and has a high mm-hmm. rate of gain, and and so that's a pretty tough line to walk to try to push them hard enough to get a a decent gain measurement. Uh, but then to have them ready to turn out at the time of the sale. Uh, we do that by having that gain test uh, finished uh, about 75 days before the sale. Uh, that way they've been through that that push, and then we have them primarily on, on forage. Of course, the time of year that we're doing that is predominantly high. Uh, because our sale is the second week of February, right. and so there's not going to be a lot of other forage around to maintain body condition. But we'll do it predominantly with hay to get them ready to turn out uh, once we have the sale. Right. That's an awesome thought. Uh, if you don't mind, give everybody a little information on you so that they can, can figure out more about Bradley 3 Ranch as well as the, the bull sale that you've got coming up. Well, our... The Bradley Free Ranch is, has been in the registered Angus business since since 1955. Uh, a lot of years of, of genetic operations. We try to run our operation as close to uh, what we think most people are trying to do in their commercial operations as, as we possibly can. So we use natural service of bulls. Uh, just like most commercial operators are going to do, we, we run multiple fires in the pasture, calf out in two section pastures, and, and uh, the list goes on of those kinds of things. Our, our customer, predominantly commercial operators, that are, that are using those bulls out in commercial production every day. And, and we've been the full gamut. We've had feed yard, packing house, branded product. We've kind of tested all of that type of business, and uh, it, it's, it's taught us a lot of things about the type of cattle and how to have them ready and, and how to do all that we can do to uh, uh, to service a commercial customer. Awesome. I know we're getting a little off topic, but I think one of the things that, that blew my mind here in, in the recent past has been... Uh, there, and you'll be able to tell a lot more than I will, but y'all have a bull right now that goes back bukus of generations in your program. And I, I think that's amazing. I don't know how many people could be able to say that they've got a, a bull that they can track back that many generations. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, he's a he's a bull that we're pretty proud of. He's uh, standing in, at origin service now, and we've got some really nice partners on that bull. But he goes back 10 generations on the maternal side to one of the original cows that Bill and Jenny Lou bought on the ranch in, in 1956. Uh, they, uh, each one of those dams on that maternal side 
expect on the ranch to have at, at least nine calves on the ranch, some of them as many as 12. Um, and that kind of longevity maternally uh, is just unheard of in our business. And, and we're pretty excited about him. He's, he's sired by a bull that uh, is standing at ABF of ours called Tender 10, but sold a lot of semen uh, around the world. And this young bull's first set of calves will be in our upcoming sale this February. That's great. That's great. And James, I've got your information on the screen for people to be able to get a hold of you, but uh, tell everybody what the date is of your February sale in, in 2012. It's the second weekend? It's the second Saturday in February. It'll be February 11th of 2012, okay. and we'll start the sale at, at 12 noon. We invite everybody to come look at the bull anytime from early December through sale time. Everything that we do at the sale is on video, and so it's a little different for some folks uh, because we don't run them through a ring there. But but they get a good opportunity to view all the bulls and be in the pens and mix and work with them prior to the sale, and we'll run a pretty quick, snappy sale. Awesome. Well, James, I appreciate you being on the show this week. Look forward to seeing you down the road and, and hope you have safe travels. Wade, thank you for having us, and, and uh, it's great to work with you. All right. Take care. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, Matt, you know, this was all for you, buddy. Let me know if we answered the questions that you had, as well as anybody else. If you've got any questions or want to see some topics here on the show, don't hesitate to send me a Facebook message or get me at wade at idealvideoproductions.com or just comment on the videos. Hey, I'd like to see this. This would be neat. Um, we'll try to get on it, see what we can do to get somebody that, that knows everything there is to know about what you're talking about and go from there. Until next week, we look forward to having you again on the Ideal Video Blog.